Let's have a look at how we find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, such as matrix A shown here. And to find the determinant of A, we can do this by what's called expanding along the first row. Now the notation for the determinant is often given as two parallel lines with the name of the matrix or the matrix inside them. And if we expand along the first row to find this, it will be the element of the first row and first column A1 times the matrix determinant obtained when we cover up row 1 and column 1, giving us the determinant of B2, C2, B3, C3. Then, going along to the next element, it'll be minus A2 times the determinant obtained when we cover up the first row and the second column, which contain A2. So minus A2 times the determinant B1, C1, B3, C3. And finally, it is then plus the element in the first row and the third column, which is A3, times the determinant obtained when we cover up the first row and the third column, giving the determinant B1, B2, C1, C2. So that is the general formula for working out the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, where each of these 2x2 two two subdeterminants, if you have a determinant such as a determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix A, B, C, D, for instance, that is the diagonal A, D, multiplied together minus the product of the other diagonal elements B, C. So let's apply this to the following example, finding the determinant of this matrix here. And so in this case, once again we start off looking at the element in the first row and the first column which is 5 here. Imagine covering up that row and column, that leaves us with the determinant of the matrix negative 6, negative 1, 1, 3 then it will be minus the element in the second column of row 1, so 2, and again imagine visually covering the column and row that contain at element, which will leave you with the determinant of the matrix 0, 1, negative 1, 3. And then it will be plus, and looking at the element in the first row and third column, that is 0 times the determinant when we cover up the first row and third column, which is the determinant 0, negative 6, 1, 1. Therefore, the determinant of matrix B, working out these subdeterminants, it will be 5 multiplied by, in this case, it will be negative 6 times 3 minus negative 1 times 1. Then for the next one, it'll be minus 2 times, and that'll be 0 times 3, minus negative 1 times 1. And the last one, we could do a similar thing, but that'll just be 0 times the subdeterminant. So in fact, that last one will just disappear to 0. Therefore, the determinant of B, that will just be 5 multiplied by negative 18 minus negative 1, so negative 18 plus 1 is multiplied by 5. Then subtracting off the next one, so minus 2, lots of 0 times 3, which is just 0, minus negative 1 again, so 0 plus 1. And then the last part of that whole thing, that bit there is just in fact 0 in this particular case. Therefore, the determinant of B is going to be 5 times negative 17 minus 2 times 1, which just becomes negative 85 minus 2 is negative 87.